All right, guys, so in this tips and tricks video, we are going to show you how to use an anchor ball to pull your anchor uh, when you're anchored up fishing, you know, diving, whatever it is you may be doing on the boat. Uh, we happen to be actually down here in Key Largo, Florida right now, uh, anchored up trying to do a little mutton fishing on the full moon. It's been a little slow, so we're going to go reset. And I thought again that uh, I would show you how we, we pull the anchor. So it starts with uh, a poly ball, also called an anchor ball. And we've just got a short tether of rope that has a clasp like that attached to it. Uh, you can buy that in any marine store um, already uh, pre-made like that. And then you have uh, an anchor ball ring, uh, which looks like this. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that ring, you're gonna clip it on here, and we're gonna walk forward. Um, we're gonna actually, let me actually take this off first. We're gonna take this ring, and on my anchor line, right here, I put the ring around the anchor line like so. And then once I have that done, that clasp that I just showed you, we clip it through both of the open ends of that ring so that it's attached. You can see now, let me get this pulled back around properly. There we go. So I'm attached with the ring to the anchor line, the ball. And just drop that, let it go in the water like that. When I'm pulling the anchor, I like to pull the line out of the chalk just because a lot of times those are just screwed in, not necessarily always through bolted. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna start the boat and our line is scoped to the south. So typically what I will do is either swing inshore or offshore to get the ball and the line away from the boat. Basically what we're gonna do is pull that anchor line right back through that ring that's attached to the line with the ball connected to it. And it essentially is going to pull that line all the way through the ring until the anchor itself comes up and catches. It catches on that metal ring and it leaves the anchor up floating on the surface to make it so much easier to retrieve it when you're pulling in the anchors. We have 15 foot of chain, a 20 pound anchor. It's heavy when you're pulling it in from right now, we're anchored in 130 foot of water. So this ball will save your life if you don't have a mechanical system um, to retrieve your anchor electrically or whatever. So um, a windlass, I guess you would call it. So we're gonna do that and uh, get the anchor up here on the surface in just a second. All right, so we got the line scoped out up on the surface. I'm just kind of, we've gotten off of the ball now, pulling off shore. And here in any second, that ball's gonna, the chain just came through. We hooked the uh, ring with the anchor. So now I'm gonna swing back around. And I basically, you turn back towards the ball. The wind is actually blowing us in that direction anyways. So we're gonna drift back up on the ball. And now, instead of having to pull the dead weight of that anchor all by yourself, uh, all the weight is basically being um, absorbed by the anchor ball. It's doing all the work for us. So now all we have to do is just pull the line in. Yeah, so if you can see it out there, the ball's floating up on the surface. You can, you can tell it's almost, it's bobbing up and down and that's from the, the weight of the anchor and the chain that it's holding up because the, the forks of that anchor have hooked on the ring and it's holding it up on the top of the surface so it doesn't fall back to the bottom and then we have to pull it all the way up again. Now you'll see when I pull this up also, we're fishing a lot of chain. The chain is really what helps your anchor to grab, hold it flat and dig into the bottom. 
so that you can hold in deep water as well as water where there's a lot of current. And of course, you know, we're, we're trying to get a 39 foot CV, which is 16, 18,000 pound boat to hold on the anchor. So that extra length of chain, the longer your chain is, the easier it makes it to do. All right, so we're up, anchors back in the boat. All you gotta do is spin that around, unclip it, and we're done. That's your tip and trick of the week from Jamie Bunn, Fish Blue Water.